2023. 2023. And we've got our new rivals. And I've just dropped everything. Dramatic. So, new rivals is a new thing. Anyway, we are continuing the new arrival theme to June with this lot, and now there's a special arrival that's too big to fit in the video. And probably it's broken, but it's quite hard to get hold of, so I've got it for you. But we got some of the stuff. Let's look at it. Let's look at the stuff we got. So, first, we're going to start up this, we're going to hide it. This is the E1 2005 HP 75 E1 ladder. It's basically just a plain fire truck or fire engine because I'm a British person. I like to say it, fire plant and engine. This has got front details. Uh, you can see at the front, front details. It's got the front grill lights and front lights. It's also like wipers, two light bars on top and a nozzle. It also has no side details because it's a fire engine. It's got crew cab doors. It has a lovely ladder, sexy bum bum ladder. And that might be the control box. At the back, we've got the E1 sign. And this is my cool truck. It's like an equipment locker there. Yeah, dumb. It's a cool little model. Cool little beast, actually, fire engine wise. But yeah, yeah, it's an American fire engine. Cool. Right, continuing the US theme from. Engine wise, so when I said to guys, I prom, I will promise to you guys, I will be getting the another one that I still had in the Bowley wise and Zikudo, and I like to not make promises to you YouTubers and subscribers, but I did it. Wait, I got it. I got the second Spartan model, a tanker version. I got a tanker version that looks exactly the same cab, but with a tanker. We're going to unbox that in a minute and have a look at it. But that's what it's called. Read it. Fucking read it. Fire Department Water Tanker Fire Engine. That's cool. Bar rascal. Okay, we're going to move that in a second. So, I'm just going to put it in my bed because I'm running out of room. Next up is another Scudo. And I like this because I quite like the Actos casting. This is a junior line. So this is for kiddies with good hands and like to break things uh no, no. it's a fur we are german 141 112 fake crew cab fire engine and it does actually say the atros name uh you say it's been atros some gibberish but you know it's actually really cool Nice nickel truck. It's got more lockers. It's got two lockers there. I'll probably the back as well. It's got the my control desk for the engine. And it's got these light lockers as well. So welcome to the collection, buddy. Another dial Parado. This is actually American. Uh, this is a 2006 Monarch Rescue Pumper Small Body Pumper Sulfurton USA Fire Engine. This caught my eye. I like the feature. Now in America, they like to put these weird light bars on the fire engines which twirl around and make a big light effect really cool i, I don't it's like a like a windmill a windmill effect <laughs> windmill you know what a windmill effect is so that's probably why it's got the light bar air conditioning unit oh my engine is falling over with our control unit we have a big badass light at the front mirrors we have a pump area because in america everything's at the side of the road Got crew cab doors, we have engine 111, I start like this. We have locker doors, we have a rear area with hoses on top and a top nozzle. If you can actually see the nozzle, I don't know anything about fire engines. It's got crew cab doors. So, yeah, it's quite cool. Now, I'm going to review it in a minute, but we're trying to get everything done in one minute because I don't want to do what I... I it bores me to death. Okay. Now, the next model is something in America that the Americans have got on video for. 
So in America, they have a special fire appliance or fire engine if you are a spotter like me and you like to watch them. They're also popular in, in Amer on America on mean videos for drifting and bouncing up and down. These fire engines are the most sophisticated appliance in America and it requires more than one operator. In the driver's seat. It is, I've just dropped it, I've just dropped it. It is the one and only Tiller. Specific classic. This is a La France Colgi. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tiller truck. Vintage. There you go. So, one and only art Tiller. All it's missing, beep, beep, is the two people at the back, which is meant to sit here. So, there's meant to be two people sat here, but you get all these weird men sat here. Hello, look at this. Big ass steam wall, small people. Ladder's quite cool. The mechanics is busted, which is what the seller told me about, but still sold it at high price because it's still worth a lot of money. And yes, Red Trucks is right. The mechanics on this are dull and rubbish. So, don't really use them because you break them easy and they do break easy. But we do have the La France cab. We've got two mirrors here and here, no light bar, so you've got to scream, fuck out of the way. There's a big dim bell there and a big light. Power call, power call, what's happening? Then this is what Attila does. So in America, the fire engine appliance driver, the two, there would be one driver in this cab, then there'd be another driver in this one, turning these two wheels. Because this is too of a long appliance to get round with just that driver driving. So it needs to have this nickel guy, called um, Steve, driving around in a big circle. This means he can drift the tiller. Oh, shit. Dramatic. So I can literally, if they had moving wheel, that'd be pretty great. But it means he can tilt the truck like that and do a little ziggy zaggy thing. That's what the tiller does. Okay, you can also detach it. Because the seller sent it in separate, separate delusionals. How the fuck do you get it off? Right, so there you go. So all you do is you detach. How the f Oh, you got to pull these out. Ha ha ha. What's this, guys? What's this, motherfuckers? Yo, yo, yo. Put them on there. Dramatic effect. <laughs> right. So... Because this is a book, and probably will unlike this video now, let's look at the tab of the clients. Vegan hot chocolate. Okay. Vegan ice cream, get out of the way. Okay, it is a very old casting. It is a Colgi made toys, made in Great Britain, not in Chichi China. This is American Le France fire engine. Aerial rescue tractor. You're not a tractor. I don't know where old MacDonald had a farm sits. Where do you put the cows then? Oh, do you put the cows in there? Oh, moo. How the beep is that a freaking tractor? How the fuck is it a tractor? Where is your cap farming capabilities? Do they just say, hey, old McDonald's, here's a fire, uh, fire engine. We don't use it anymore. Dumbass. This is where the number of people went to sit at the back of the fire plants. This is also a big water tank, I think. You can literally... Play with this on its own in your kid. Every collector's kid in the end days wanted one of these for their parents on Christmas Day. But they didn't get it. Anyway, let's look at the... Now, I hope this is cost from Sensible. Oh. America and the France. Colgate made toys in Great Britain. Aerial Rescue Truck. It has the fucking name. Aerial Rescue Truck. You are a miracle. The ladder is broke, unfortunately. But actually... Sort of stayed up. And it comes with lots of ladders, look. It comes with loads of ladders. As well as a pump area. Uh, fuck off, you two out. It's got... Where's the rear lights? Where are the rear lights, man? I think these are like the stilts. I do not know what these are for. Got more quick markers. There's your wheel. So you can just basically do... I wonder how they recover a tiller. It won't be easy. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, fuck, just destroyed my bed for... Yo, 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 lad. 
that's the mechanics by the way, it's busted, it's broken and shit. Because it's just like this one with the same mechanics. Do you get it? Colgi had a massive thing about mechanics in them days, guys. So, that's today's arrivals. But we're going to have a look at them now. Do you want to look at them, guys? Come on. Let's go. I'm going to fall off the chair. I'm excited. Right, let's move you, you little girl. Let's move you out of the way, baby. It's a vintage. You need, you need to go to an old people's home. Yeah, that's where old people live. I get tortured. Okay, let's look at this beautiful tanky. Now, basically, there's number of bony trucks that they did. I'm not a fan of. And I'll tell you why. Because I just don't like them. Because I'm not... There's, Amer there's a lot of American variants out there that I just think, who the fuck designed that? A guy with no eyes. Because some American engines and the names do not match a fire engine. An enforcer. Flamethrower. What the fuck do you call American engines for? Just call them. What? Oh, what would you call? Well, I'll tell you what we should call fire engine. Bob. Amy, Red Trucks, the Australian Wildback Fire Engine, <laughs> something with weird names, because we've had Dennis, we've got Bedford, Blackpool, okay, let's look at this nickel tanker then, it smells like a fresh fire engine, whoa, it smells gorgeous, I'm sexualising a fire engine here, someone limited my YouTube channel, right, fuck off, move, Oh, she's different. Oh, she's different. Yo, this is better. Why did I not get this one before? You're having a fucking laugh, mate. It's metal. It's a metal cab. It's a metal body. I'm sexualising myself on a fire engine. It's all metal, nearly. Yeah. Look at the same cab. Glistening chrome in the hot sun of Britain. Stop damaging me, you silly Bedford. Oh my god, look at the chrome. You can see me. You can see me. Look at that. Let's look at the business of this truck. This is a mad babe. Okay, so let's talk about this fakery. We have a pump. A fake hose area. These are fake hoses. This is just a sticker. Don't have a patty about it. There's a ladder to fill the truck up. There's an equipment locker there. FDT15. Fire compliance. We also have dial 911, which uh, I wouldn't say uh, for political reasons. It has two leg bars at the back, which go dino dino, and they make lots of noise and make automobile deaf. It also has a uh, pump area. Keep back 200 feet because you'll be fucking wet through. Uh, it also has these nice cool indicators, which I think are really cool in America. I like these pointy stick because it makes more sense. A pointy stick. Okay, we have a ladder, in case you flood your own fire station and need to walk out the fire station. We also have another pump area, and a cab. German and Americans like to have lots of people in their fire engines to crush each other. We, in the UK, like to have a six-man crew fire engine, because we like to. Okay, I need to get his girlfriend. Well... Look at these two gorgeous beauties. In it like a bloody porn film. Sorry. Uh, fire engine film. Oh yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Let's just move them out the way. Red, someone's going to report me for this video. Okay, let's get this uh, fire engine. When, when I'm autistic and I'm a fire engine collector, I get giddy, so don't ask. How did I become a YouTuber? I don't know. I just did it. I did a video. And I just fucking filmed it. And that's how I become a video -er.
God save my fire engine hobby. Oh God! A picture. We have a foundry picture. Uh, and the model of it. Um, uh, it's like plastic surgery. Eh? Who the fuck designed this fire engine? It doesn't look anything like that. Never mind. It's camped. This is the fire engine, if you're wondering about the fire engine. Got a nice pump area. If you want about that, nice pump area. It has a nice pump area. It also has rear life lift. Two hoses there. Look at the back. And it has a ladder at this side. A ladder. Crew cab doors. It's pretty cool. It's a bog standard fire appliance in America with the twirly bits at the top. Pretty cool, guys. I, I mean, come on, it's pretty cool. Right, let's get on the next beauty. Let's keep, let's get, look at this Dow Parada one. Now, I'm sure there was a Dow Parada version of that, that one I just reviewed. Because it has a detailed pump area. I'm, I'm not going mad, I need to find out. I need to go, I need to find out. Oh, we've got an elastic band on it. That's, it's broke. How old is this fucking bar engine? Okay, this fire ladder is cool and plain and miserably boring. But the ladder does not... But it's quite cool. I mean, Red Trucks probably say, oh, we can customise life. Mm, it's up to the owner, like me. I could put YouTube. It's quite cool. It is quite a nice fire appliance. It is good for customisation for customisers who really want to make their own fire department, fire service, fire rescue service, fire brigade. They can make anything. It's really cool for people who want to make their own. Bowley, for instance, that's the same company like that. People are playing trucks because they just want to customise them to anything they want. Cool truck, anyway. Okay. Let's look at the Junior Lines fire appliance, eh? This is where the kids go. Forget the HO stuff, we have kiddie stuff. It's been open already. Oh my. Hey, it's not bad. Oh, this is cool. I quite like this. Now, I'll tell you why I quite like this one more than the standard. Oh, you do get, you get seats in it. Now, unlike the Taiwan appliance that uh, Thai and Dicus makes, you do get actually interior in the seat. You get uh, in seat interior, which is good. It's better than the uh, Thai and Dicus one. It looks really shit. So we are. Uh, it has a night lamp and it has these lockers and a lad on top. More lockers and a pump air at the back. Can you see? Can you see the pump area? And then it has uh, side lockers here and everything. A crew cab door. So we have like in we say Ben stuff. I mean it makes the ladder smaller, right? but does the ladder stop? Oh my god, it does extend a bit more. That's pretty high for a toy fire engine. And now all you get is generic shit. They also made one of these into an RC one, but well. Very cool. I'm starting to. I'm not the kind of guy that will recommend people anything, but that's actually metal. Oh, it's got a little open locker there as well. I am getting excited. Welcome to the collection, buddy. I'm gonna call you Jeffrey. Okay, well that's this video now. You can now go back to bed and um, tell everyone about me. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.